Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Python tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how you can create permutations of a list or of a string. And this idea came from this movie that I was recently watching called Enola Holmes. One of the themes that they've got in that movie is, you know, anagrams, the jump, switching words and letters and then creating new sentences or new words. So if you see this name Enola, which is the name of the title or character, so it, it if you reverse it, it becomes alone. So I started thinking, you know, like how, how can we do this in Python? And then I came across this um, amazing base, amazing library that's part of your Python, like everybody has got it, which makes it really, really easy for you to make permutations and combinations, like especially with the list. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. And uh, we can see a couple of examples. First, from iter tools, import. I'm going to start with combinations, okay? And when you have combinations, then you need a list, right? For now, the first list that I'm going to use is name is equal to um, a list which says E, N, O, L, A. And you've got the name ready. So now what we have to do is combinations require two arguments. One is the actual list. The second one is the number of items that you want to output, number of elements that you want to deal with. So first for that, what we're going to do is we're going to say for i in the range of one to name length of name plus one, which means like we want to iterate from one till whatever the length is. We're going to say that combinations of name comma i. So this is going to take this list and it's going to take the number length and then it's going to give you a list. So to make it simple, I'm going to just print this. I'm going to just print this as we go along. So let me print this. I think it won't work because this is an iterator. We have to list it and then print. And then when I say print, oh, iter tools. Oh, that's, that's a bad way to call that library name. So when you run this, you can actually see that, you know, uh, for every iteration. So let me run this only for two iterations. So you know what is actually happening. So if I run this for two iterations, you can see that, you know, E N O L A. So that is, that is there. So if I run this for um, three iterations, oops, if I run this for three, you would see that it, it goes like this. It, it takes this, this, this. So you see a three letter uh, list, you see a two letter list. And you, you just basically see this combination, right? Of different um, different co different combination of these letters as the name suggests. But what if you actually want to do permutation here, which is which is what that happens, right? Where you you try to see um, what happens when you try to find anagram of uh, Enola. So that's what we want to do. So for that, instead of combinations, we need actually permutations. So I'm going to copy call permutations here. And then instead of this, I'm going to do it in a slightly different way because what permutations does is you don't need a for loop for that. I mean, if you have a for loop, it's easy to print out, but you don't need, there is no length argument. I'm going to just put the name here and then I'm going to say for um, new perm, perm in this and I'm going to print the new perm. And when I print this, this ideally wouldn't print because this is an iterator. Or oh, let's see, I think uh, we are iterating on it, right? So it should ideally print. So when I print this, you can see alone uh, and all these different options. Right now, it wouldn't make a lot of sense because you know you can see that it is it's taking all these. So let's quickly do a string join, which means I have uh, this empty text string, and I want to join with everything that we find here. So which means instead of seeing it like this, you would see it as a word. And when I do that, when I run this, you can actually see what happened. Okay, so I think I added this here. So when I run this, you can actually see that I've got alone, I've got, um, I've got uh, different options, loan, loan. So you've got a lot of these different options that you can get when you mix these uh, letters. Um, so right now what we are doing is, we are taking the same five letters and trying to make this five letters jumble across all these options. That's what permutation is. But you can do it combination with the replacement combination without replacement, just like we saw. And this permutation, which actually gives us the anagram. So now if you use a library like NLTK, you can actually filter only those words that occur in, a, in an English dictionary, which means basically you can do anagram 
and then figure out what are those words like you can jumble across all these letters and then figure out what are those words that are present in english dictionary and just filter them out so you have got the perfect anagram tool um so i might probably create a web application for this 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 looks like a nice idea but but yeah for now um if if you are interested in doing permutations or combinations in python you should definitely definitely look into iter tools so they've got a lot of these uh, these amazing options for you to do these th this combinations permutations combinations with replacement in an efficient way and and also right if it's it's part of your base python which means you don't you don't need any separate dependencies so yeah that that that's it you can use it for wordle you can use it for a lot of different things that people are really really interested in these days if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i would see you in the next video stay safe take care